My name is Dr. Isaac Ula. I'm an Associate Professor of Anthropology at San Diego State University. We're excited to start the CHET project, which stands for the Community Heritage Empowerment Toolkit, because it's a bottom-up approach to helping organizations such as the La Mesa History Center here in La Mesa, California. Our whole goal is to create a accessible toolkit using smartphones. We're really excited to partner with the National Endowment for the Humanities because this is really kind of what we want to do. We want to be able to allow uh, people, local communities to tell stories. We're partnering uh, in two local communities. Uh, here in California, the San Diego State University team is partnering with the La Mesa History Center in La Mesa, California. And our partner institution, the University of Central Florida, is partnering with um, the Historical Society of Hollywood, Florida. Now, digitally preserving uh, historical material is something that's becoming more and more important as we're losing the physical record, we're losing the physical space to store a lot of these kinds of uh, documents and archival materials, but also the buildings themselves are deteriorating. And as we know, the coming climate crisis is having impacts across the board, but older buildings are particularly susceptible to damage from extreme weather events. So our hope with Chet is that we can create these toolkits uh, and these instructional materials and eventually our hope is to create a centralized kind of repository, a sharing house for this kind of information so that beyond just us other people can share these kind of things almost like recipes. Uh, part of the mission of San Diego State is to get out into the community and to bring our knowledge to bear on issues of importance to local communities. You know, I quickly came to realize that there was this deficiency in the historic inventory in this city and we were losing important structures. This was sort of an evolution to, to work on some of the larger scale sort of programs and projects that we're trying to make uh, happen here at the History Center by also leveraging that the university's authority and ability to bring in resources and students to provide them not only with expertise and labor for us, but an opportunity to really understand how it works in the real world and to help us bring what is now an almost 50 year old organization up into 21st century, moving our collections from what had been all hard copy photographs and documents into digitizing for the long term preservation and also the accessibility to make sure that we are providing an opportunity for the public to really access the kinds of historical information, stories and the multitudes of stories, but also the stories of underrepresented groups or communities within the community here that histories need to be brought forward and done using these primary sources and gathering more primary sources so that we do have as full as understanding of the cultural history of this community and the region. So a really important aspect of doing this kind of work is digitally documenting historic records. These include historic photographs uh, and the La Mesa Society here has a, a large art of, uh, archive of physical prints of silver gelatin photographs which are susceptible to damage over time. Digitizing them uh, is really important to preserving these uh, graphical records for the long term. They also have a lot of physical printed media. These include things like physical copies of the La Mesa Scout newspaper, the actual street directories and phone books from uh, the past century, <laughs> uh, and other kinds of really important documents including letters and uh, the notes and uh, meeting minutes for local uh, societies including the La Mesa Women's Society, Women's Club. And all of these materials are slowly being digitized through traditional means, just scanning, etc. Um, but it's all volunteer and if we can find a way to streamline or speed up that process using new technology like smartphones to scan them, that will greatly increase the capacity for digitally storing copies of these really important and finite records. So an important part of the CHET project is going to be student support. Both the University of Central Florida and San Diego State have uh, uh, 
student support built into the grant. We're going to hire um, some graduate research assistants who are going to be helping to develop the um, how-to videos and testing out the specific uh, apps and tools with the phones and working in conjunction with the two historical society. We'll also get undergraduates involved here in, in La Mesa. We've had a very vibrant uh, undergraduate internship program between San Diego State and the La Mesa History Center and we're going to continue to uh, leverage that partnership to uh, align with the goals of Chet and to help further the research along and to give a really important formative experience to those students. Mm -hmm.